Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. Thank you for stopping by. This channel is dedicated to women 55 and older who would like to date hypergamously, which means date someone of a higher social standing or economic standing. So I have not arrived. I'm on the journey with you. I share with you movie reviews, book reviews from a hypergamous lens. I focus on the internal, what we're saying to ourselves, the messaging we're giving ourselves, and how we are internalizing external messages, and how we can turn those around to, ag to achieve our goals, our hopes, our dreams of a, hyper <laughs> of a hypergamous life. So, if you like this video or any of my others, please like, subscribe, share, and click on the notification bell so you so you will be made aware of new videos. So in 2019, May of 2019, a friend of mine gave me a couple of like 10 pages, 15 pages out of Gary Zukoff's book, The Seat of the Soul. All right, this is when I received it. I hope I covered her name. Anyway, um, this is what was given to me. This is what was given to me, the seat of the soul and a couple of pages out of it. So I um, read it and reread it and read it, but not enough to go purchase the book. And now that I'm reading it recently, I'm like, well, maybe I should get this book. I am... I wouldn't call myself an avid reader, but I read a lot. I don't keep track of the number of books I read a year or a month, but I do read a lot of spiritual books and I have quite a few spiritual books. And sometimes rather than going out and getting more spiritual books, I'll just reread what I have already in my library because the messaging really doesn't change. It's just how it's said, what generation, what audience the author is gearing his or her book to. So Gary Zukoff, Seat of the Soul, I first heard of him through Oprah Winfrey and her show. And I think she has Seat of the Soul and some other book that he has written. And she said she, at the, that time, she was keeping his book by her bedside table. So one of the things that caught my attention, and I don't know what page this is on, is that he says, to change old patterns of behavior begins with the intention to change it. How it will change depends on the intention that you set. For example, if I intend to show more love to myself, this intention will allow me to see more new perceptions of how I already show love to myself and how I can do more self loving and see and share it with others. I will feel openness and expansion within my body. That resonated with me because I have found that to be true. So I decided that I set an intention in June of 2019 that I was tired of working and being in my masculine energy 24-7. That I was feeling worn out, worn down, discouraged, and maybe a little hopeless at times. That I was alone and when I did get a date, it went nowhere. And so when Shira Seven's one videos came into my feed and I said, hmm, let me see what this woman is saying, it resonated with me. And of course, once you click on one video, YouTube will give you all the thousands and billions of other <laughs> videos that are similar and they will be in your feed. And that's what happened. And so it resonated with me, her messaging, and as I said in my last video, Krista Karazin in Pink Pill and Chloe Underscore and Michaela Pink and others, just started resonating with me. 
So I set an intention. I'm going to listen to these women. And I binge watched Shira 7. <laughs> I binge watched Shira 7. I binge watched Chloe and the Pink Pill, Michaela Pink. Those ladies, I binge, binge watched them. And their messaging got into my soul. And I'm like, I've been doing this all wrong. And so I set an intention that I was going to be more feminine. I was going to change my the register of my voice as much as I could. And I was going to pay more attention to how I was dressing, how I was behaving, and be softer, be gentler, be kinder, be everything nice and soft and feminine and more. I was going to do that. But at the same time, I was going to be true to who I am as an individual, as God made me, as my experiences made me. And I wasn't willing to change too much on the exterior except maybe lose 20 pounds, wear more makeup, and dress more femininely. But I was always a kind person. I was always a loyal friend. And um, family was every is and was everything to me. So I didn't have to change that much, but I wasn't perfect. And we're not trying for perfection. I'm just trying to grow more in self-acceptance and self-love. So when he said intentions change, intention changes molecular, the molecular structure of the body cell, and then we feel it, that hit home for me because in, a, in, in, in an instant, I'm, I can be thinking, you know, um, she was rude to me. The cashier was rude to me and, and you know, just, just mean and rude. And then when I say to myself, well, maybe she's taking care of a sick parent, you know, COVID now. Maybe her son is sick or maybe something is going on at home. Giving her a little bit more compassion, that changes the molecular structure of my body because I feel it. I'm no longer me, me, me and she, 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 but it's like, well, maybe this and well, maybe that. I'm extending some compassion to a person that I don't know. And those things that I'm extending, um, making up that she might be having a hard time about might not be true. She just may be mean, but it makes me feel better to think that I have some compassion and empathy for another person. So I set the intention to uh, live my life hypergamously and I'm still on that journey and still on that path, but that decision changed the molecular structure of the cells in my body. And I feel less stress most of the time. And when I say I'm going to relax in my feminine and I'm not going to be concerned about what others are doing on YouTube or anywhere else or TikTok, but I'm just going to remain true to who I am and what I need to do to feel happy. I set that intention and it has served me well really throughout my life, even in my masculine energy, setting the intention that I'm just going to work and take care of myself. And if a man comes along and he wants to join my party, he can. And of course, no man ever came along to join my party because most masculine men want you to join theirs and bring your femininity with you. But I didn't know that at the time. Now I do. So I have set my intention to live a hypergamous life and date hypergamously and as a result, the cells, molecular structure of the cells in my body have complied and are coming along this hypergamous journey with me. If you like this video or any of my others, please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. And the journals are coming soon. Bye.